What is one outcome of uh, sort of this reverse order? And what is this uh, silence? You were silenced, the whole situation was silenced when you went to get ice cream instead of talking about what you were feeling, what you were thinking, when you saw your friend, um, you found your friend who had killed himself, and um, that you, it sounds like you're not talking about resources and what you might expect later, um, later that night, later the week, the following months, weeks, years. What, you know, what happens to human beings when we experience that kind of traumatic experience? So I think because of the silence that we've had historically in talking about mental health and issues, mental wellness, certainly suicide, um, that weighs heavily on not only you, but then your parents or whoever, whoever else was involved in the situation, not knowing if that was going to impact you, but also not really knowing how to talk to you or if they could talk to you. My guess is that they didn't have the resources and they didn't have the words, they didn't have the vocabulary to have the dialogue that would have been helpful and therapeutic. So much like you know, what we're doing here today, it's important to have real talk at home, real talk in schools, real talk in the streets, real talk at the bus station, wherever you are about mental health and wellness. And I love the idea of not only sharing when, um, sharing with others that, you know, that I've gotten help, or I have a therapist, or I have a psychiatrist, or whomever. I think it's important also, I go back to that high mental hygiene, to be open about what I do to enhance my mental wellness, to enhance my good mental health. I think it could be, we can have just as open uh, a dialogue about that as we are talking about having about mental illness. When it comes to uh, dis disciplining children, um, I certainly will not, I'm not in a position to tell somebody what to do. I mean, that's not what I do. Not even in a counseling room, I don't tell people what to do. Uh, I do believe it's important to look at um, potential impacts of types of um, discipline for children, and we probably could find research to support any kind of opinion we want to have about this. Um, I happen to um, embrace the idea that uh, discipline and, and, and direction and setting boundaries with children can happen in many different ways and many forms. And if we, when we talk about this, we often hear people say, well, you know, I was spanked, I was beaten, whatever, and I turned out okay. And that's fine. We can even ask you to, to sort of define what okay is, but that's another story. But, <laughs> but, the, but the point is that um, just because it was done to you doesn't mean it's the best thing to do. So, it, and it may be another question or another thing to think about is, you know, we tend to take, treat this question as an all or nothing black or white, this or that, and maybe we're looking at that too on a, on a continuum. So maybe it's looking at, well, if spanking or recent beating, <laughs> if beating your kids may not produce a negative outcome every single time, a question is, is it the best method? While it may be effective, it may work to get the outcome you want. The research says that it also is outcomes that many of us don't want, which is kids learn to uh, use the violence. And I know you may not consider spanking as violent, but it, it is in the category of violence you're physically aggressing towards someone. They learn that that is the method that then I will use when somebody crosses my boundaries, whether it's on the courtyard, in the, on the bus, at school, wherever. And so the message is, I can use a physical aggression when someone crosses my boundaries and someone disrespects me, and they may not know how to use it in the context of discipline. So then you have someone who's learned that physical aggression is one way to uh, is a reestablish order and boundary and respect, but, but as a child, they don't have the same kind of uh, framework as adults do. So I would say, you know, while it may work, you may get what you want, and, uh, at least initially on the surface, you may also be getting things that you don't want in the long run, and there may be other effective methods. <laughs>